Hey guys, it'll be my honor to tell you how to use my easy render project setup. Sometimes we humans can go ape mode and not fully understand how to use these things, just like my project tester. But don't you worry, I'm here to take care of you, my friend. So let's take a moment and see what we're dealing with. So the easy render is an After Effects template I created using Element 3D, and it's the one and only required plugin. Everything else is included in this pack. Uh, a thing that bothered me for ages were all these startup and semi-alive gaming teams making all these depth-based profile pictures with Photoshop. Well, let me tell you one thing. Depth-based 3D is disgusting. Period. So if you are sitting here with that kind of background history, please let me save you from that abomination and show you the real 3D way of creating profile pictures. At least in After Effects, in my opinion. It's very easy to use, so let's go through and see how it's done and what it's set up to do. So here we see my logo in 3D. This is done using Element 3D plugin. Everyone should have heard of Element 3D by now, and if you haven't, then happy birthday, granddad! Before going into the fun settings, let me first show you something not so fun, but rather important. How to import your logo. So say you have your logo imported on the left side here. So open the masking composition, and in here you would place your logo. And make sure that size of your logo does not go outside of these borders. Back into the final export, you will take and solo the masking comp. Here, you will use the pen tool and start tracing around your uh, logo. Once it's all said and done, unsolo the masking layer and then reset your render by clearing this cache. And this will reset it. Now we can start with the fun stuff. So we have two control layers. Environment control lets you change things like background color, flare, the background itself. This can be very useful because then you have a transparent layer. Oh, remember to hide the masking layer below. Then you have transparent layer that you can then render out single-handedly. You can also change uh, things like the light intensity themselves, the foreground light, even the backlights. Heck, you can even move the backlights around to create nice uh, reflection effects. The same with the foreground light. That's pretty much what we have there. Over in the render control, this is more directly meant for the render itself. So we have things like the main color, position, and then of course logo size and camera rotation angle. You can even take and rotate the camera around to your desired looks. Maybe rotate the angle a bit. But do remember to then update all of the light positions so that they match nicely and the foreground light as well. And that should be good. And that's pretty much it. Super simple and easy to use, yet powerful and versatile. Now let's talk about exporting this and why the composition is set to one frame. If you have FX console, then you can pretty much ignore this step and just screenshot it the regular way like this. And then open up the browser and save to PNG or JPEG. But if you do not, then one will have to add this to the render queue and in the output module, change the format to PNG sequence. Set it to your desired folder and render a single frame. Now opening up, you will find it in here and here you have it. I would still highly recommend rendering these out using the FX console. It's a lot faster and more convenient. It's free from Video Palette and there's a guide on how to get it and use it in the project folder if need be. But now that I've taught you this, you have evolved back into a mighty human being again. It's so good to have you back.